The first step in modifying the magazine is to remove the small allen screw in the front. This enables you to remove the front of the magazine so we can easily modify it. In order to improve the magazine, you need to remove this part of metal here, so you can seat the pellet properly with your finger. To remove this piece of metal, I'm going to be using a Dremel, but the job could easily be done with a file. After using the Dremel, I have removed a small part of the material so my finger can fit in. I'm just going to tidy it up now with a needle file. Ok guys, when you're done sanding it and filing it, you should be left with something like this. Um, you can see that there's a much bigger hole, and there's a curve there, so that when you place your finger to push the pellet in, like this, it goes all the way through, which will make seating the pellet a lot easier. Ok guys, this is a magazine that hasn't been modified um, and as you can see the pellet will not go in by pushing it with your finger. Um, in order to seat the pellet you have to take uh, another object to push the pellet in. But this is a pain in the field because obviously you don't have one of these lying around. With the modified magazine your finger can fit straight in so a pellet can easily be pushed into the magazine. In the standard magazine, if you place a pellet in and try to turn the magazine, it simply will not turn and will damage the pellet. 